I welcome you all to this session of ISO 9001-2015 and today we are going to talk about clause number 6.1.2. This is part of 6.1, Actions to Address Risks and Opportunities. So as usual, first of all, I'll read out the requirement to you as given in the standard. So clause number 6.1.2 the organization shall plan A and B, there are two points in this, A, actions to address these risks and opportunities. So we have to plan these. B, how to, number one and two, number one, integrate and implement the actions into quality management system processes. And number two is evaluate the effectiveness of these actions. Actions taken to address risks and opportunities shall be proportionate to the potential impact on the conformity of products and services. And there are two notes under this. Note 1 says, Options to address risks can include avoiding risks, taking risk in order to pursue an opportunity, eliminating the risk source, changing the likelihood or consequences, sharing the risks or retaining risks by informed decision. And note number two is, opportunities can lead to adoption of new practices, launching new products, opening new markets, addressing new customers, building partnerships, using new technology, and other desirable and viable possibilities to address the organization's or its customer's needs. So this is all in this particular requirement and now we shall discuss it in more detail in English. So as the title says, this clause pertains to actions to address risks and opportunities. Uh, the organization has to plan, plan these actions, how we are going to address the risks and opportunities. So planning has to be done, it has to be documented. So whatever planning we do, we must document it, review it, get it approved by the competent authority. And B says how to integrate and implement actions into quality management system. Now, whatever we have planned, we are supposed to carry out those things, uh, integrate those ideas or those actions into our quality management system processes so that those things can be carried out. So, whatever we have planned to address the risks and opportunities, we have to first identify those things and then integrate and implement the actions into the quality management system. That means our processes, our work instructions, our methods of packaging, our methods of inspection, supervision, and uh, dispatch, and whatever it involves. There are various operations involved, so the quality management system takes care of all the processes. And then number two says we have to evaluate the effectiveness of these actions. Once we have taken actions and uh, integrated into the quality management system and now it, those actions are being followed, then we have to evaluate how effective they are. That means effectiveness means that uh, these actions have improved our process procedures and work instructions and methods of work and uh, they are able to deliver the products and services meeting customer requirements. If they are doing so, then they are effective. So we have to check the effectiveness of these actions as integrated by us into the quality management system and implemented by us on the ground. Now, actions taken to address risks and opportunities shall be proportionate to the potential impact on the conformity of 
products and services. So the actions taken to address the risks and opportunities, they must be proportionate to the potential impact on the conformity of products and services. Say whatever is the uh, impact of these decisions on uh, the conformity of products and services, the products and services have to conform to the customer requirements, to our requirements, to the legal requirements, to whatever requirement it is supposed to meet. So if uh, it is meeting all the requirements, then it is effective, otherwise it is not. So actions to address risks and opportunities have to be proportional, proportionate to the potential impact on the conformity of products and services. That means the products and services have to remain conforming to the requirements. Now let us look at the notes. There are two notes under this. Note number one says, options to address risks can include avoiding the risk. That is the very first thing. Or taking risk in order to pursue an opportunity. We are purposely taking the risk so that uh, there, is, there, there are opportunities because of taking risk and we want to pursue those opportunities. That means there is some improvement somewhere. We are able to see the advantage of the opportunities because of that risk. So we, we will allow that risk to continue and we will uh, pursue on, on opportunities for improvement. And eliminating the risk source. This can be one option. We can totally eliminate the source of the risk. For example, if the environment is not uh, conducive, we can put filters or whatever is necessary to make the environment clean and cool and comfortable so that our people can work comfortably. And um, so eliminating the risk source that can uh, be converted into our plus point by taking actions on whatever uh, can eliminate the risk and changing the likelihood or consequences. So we can uh, eliminate the risk source or change the likelihood or consequences of uh, the risk happening and sharing the risk that can be another uh, way of doing it or retaining the risk by informed decision that means we are purposely uh, continuing to have that risk because the, by retaining that risk we are able to pursue certain opportunities so maybe things like that or maybe we are able to have a, a better product by pursuing whatever methods we are following. So maybe our current methodology is better and in our opinion it is okay. So it is an informed decision that we will continue to work according to that. And note number two says, opportunities can lead to adoption of new practices. We can adopt new technologies, new methodology, new way of working, new way of making products, new way of designing the products and uh, launching of new products. Instead of the current product, we can come out with an improved version of the product and launch new product. Opening new markets, we can approach customers with our new, new ideas and new products and uh, take care of the new markets and addressing new customers, building partnerships. By building partnerships, we can, you know, reduce the, uh, create more opportunities and uh, have better marketing, better product and uh, more satisfied customers by building partnerships, using new technology. So wherever necessary, we can adopt new technology and new technology will give us better results 
better products, better customer satisfaction, and other desirable, viable possibilities to address the organization or its customers' needs. And whatever we can do to improve uh, the desirable and viable possibilities and adopt them to address the organization or its customers, to address the customer's needs and the organization's requirement. So in, in whatever way it is possible, we have to uh, look towards continual improvement. So once again, you ca as you can see, continual improvement is everywhere. It is a part and parcel of our quality management system. So I hope you have understood this requirement, but by any chance, if there is anything which is not clear to you, this is a slightly a bigger clause as compared to the previous one. So I hope you have understood it all through. But if there is anything, then please give your comment below this video. I'll try to explain to you again. And if you are liking my videos, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that as soon as I load my videos, the information will reach you. You will be able to see my videos without any delay. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Bye-bye and see you again on next Sunday. Bye.